An election just five months away and suddenly there is only one politician they're talking about in France. After the Brexit vote, then the election of Donald Trump, those who said it was impossible for Marine Le Pen and her far-right Front National to win the presidency, well, they're suddenly not so sure. Brexit and Trump have put a spring in her step and a belief that France will be the third domino to fall. I'm convinced the French people will follow in British and American footsteps, she told me. And when I suggested that an alliance between herself, Donald Trump and Russia's President Putin would fatally undermine NATO. Her answer was very telling. What's the point of NATO, she said. From what threats does it protect us? That's the real question. Her next stop was the opening of plush new party headquarters in central Paris. No longer are they stuck in the suburbs. They're well funded and their new posters speak of their ambition. It wasn't enough just to move to the centre of Paris. They moved here to the Rue Faubourg Saint-Honoré, one of the smartest addresses in the city. A street on which, just a little way down there, you find none other than the presidential palace. That was no accident, more a statement of intent. The polls still have Le Pen well behind, but the Christmas markets are just opening and a spring election is still months away. And anyway, who puts much faith in polls these days? What is surprising many in France is how many young people are throwing their weight behind the National Front. I'm a young student, I'm a normal student of 22 years old, and I have to say, um, we feel very concerned by the high unemployment rates, by the big migration crisis, and also our quality of life, which is going down and down every day. Her centre-right opponents believe they will beat her this time, but maybe not next. If you know, the new president is not going to give a proper, appropriate answer to those major problems, then, in five years, or maybe before, we will have extremist government in Europe. Not everyone is so sanguine, with a growing belief that something radical may change here a lot sooner than that.